Hey everyone, today we're looking at the gospel hymn, This World is Not My Home. This is found on page 39 of gospel book number 3, and you can find the link to book number 3 in the description below. This song came from a traditional Southern African American spiritual dating back in 1919, and was popularly arranged by Albert Brumley in 1937 to give it a more folksy feel. It's been performed by many artists over the years, including the Carter family, the Monroe brothers, Jim Reeves, Roy Acuff, Ricky Skaggs, and Jimmy Martin, just to name a few. Stick around after the performance for my tutorial. So let's get started. This world is not my home. I'm just passing Until I shake her hand She's waiting now for me In heaven's open door I can't feel at home In this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home I play this song using the chords from the key of D. So you have D, G, A7, and E. However, I use a capo on the second fret to put the song in the singing key of E. And if E is not your singing key, then try removing the capo or sliding it around to find a key that fits your voice. The time signature is 4-4 time, and the tempo can be anything you want, but I play it around 76 beats per minute, give or take. But feel free to find the tempo that feels right to you. Okay, the strum pattern for this video is a down, down, up, down, down, up type of strum pattern. I try to hit the bass notes on the down strums, which would be the open D, fourth, and fifth strings for the D chord. <laughs> then the, the ring finger to, to hit the sixth string and the third fret and the middle finger for the fifth string and the second fret bass notes for the G chords. Uh, then back to the D chord, repeating the bass pattern, okay? And then I go from the D chord bass pattern, we go to the E chord, hitting the, the open. 
open E6 string with our, oh, you know, and then our, and then we play the E chord with the, f with our middle finger. So it's laying on the second fret. That's leading us to the A seventh chord, which uses the open A fifth and, and E6 strings. Okay, like this. talk about the intro, the breaks, and the ending. Now as usual you can look to the last line of the verse or the chorus chords to find an acceptable intro, or you can just strum the first chord once, or even just by coming in singing and playing. It's up to you. In this case we play a the D and the A to the D. So Okay? You can also make it longer using the line before it, so you can go, you can go, uh, if you want it a little bit longer. Now for the break, you can just repeat either one of those arrangements, the, the short version or the long version, if you want to put a break in it. And that way you can allow somebody to play a little bit of a, a solo or something. And as for the ending, just repeat the intro, and, but it's up to you how you want to arrange it because you can, like I do, I just sing the last line again and then end it like that. But uh, it's up to you if you have a performer or a soloist and they might, might want to end that with a, another one of the breaks. So keep that in mind. Okay, for performance flair, just remember to try to keep it simple at first and concentrate on the rhythm and vocals in a solid tempo. And if you concentrate mainly on the bass notes and a good solid rhythm and tempo, it'll make the singing stand out. And also remember, you can mute the strings a little coming into the verses after the chorus, which adds some dynamics to the song and creates a bit of contrast from the chorus being wide open to the verse being slightly muted. So. It's a little bit muted. I'm not totally, I'm not doing that. If you kind of um, slap the palm of your hand down on your uh, bridge there a little bit, but not too hard. Just... It gives it some percussion and also, you know, makes it stand out a little bit. And then when you open up on the chords, mm -hmm. the difference between the two. It's dynamics and it adds to the song uh, contrast and you know makes it just add a little bit more feeling to it. So remember that. And don't forget always find that singing key because you're really focusing on the vocals. I mean the guitar part is great to learn but if you're going to be singing it, if you're going to be singing it, make sure you can sing it in your good voice, strong voice, and it's not too low or too high for you. So find, move that capo around and really find something that works for you. Hey, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed This World Is Not My Home, you're gonna love book number three. It's an electronic PDF packed with chords and lyrics perfect for your iPad or your phone. And it's easy to print. Check out the link in the description to get this book and explore all four of my gospel books. Don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content and we'll see you in the next video.